healed. Then all the disciples did what? Forsook. Forsook him and fled. Now, were those brothers a part of the disciples? Yes, yes a part of those disciples. And so were they ready for what they were asking? No. no, because they ran and they fled. What Jesus was about to go through, he was going to death. And so could they handle that weight? Could they handle that he had to be uh, go uh, to the grave? He had to be hung on to a cross and be that perfect sacrifice so that we could have eternal life. Do you think that they could handle that? No, they couldn't even handle a mob that was going to come and arrest them. And they ran and fled and left him by himself. And so they're asking for something that they are, were not prepared for. And there's many times that we ask for certain things in life and God says no. You know, God, you know, we can ask for uh, many different things. OK, I, I want this this house, Lord. Can I get this house? No. Because you can't afford it. You stretching yourself out. I told you to be a good steward and you just throwing your money away. No, you can have this house over here. It's not as big, but you can have this one. It's just as good. You'll be happy with it. Lord, can I have this car? No, it's too fast for you. You're going to go out there and you're going to hurt yourself. No, you can't. You can't have it. But I'm going to give you this instead. You can handle this. Now, do you think when God comes in the clouds of glory and uh, the sons of Zebedee are resurrected. Do you really think that they're going to be upset that they're not sitting one on the right and one on the left? They're not going to be upset at all. They're going to be so happy at the fact that they're walking on streets of gold, that they're living, have eternal life. They're not going to care about being on one side or the other. They already have Jesus. And so we have to come to a trust in God. And understand that when God says no, say praise God for it, because, Lord, you know, you see all things. Obviously, I can't handle it. When you say, wait, Lord, I'm going to wait patiently, Lord, because you're preparing me for something. And you need to prepare me because if you give it to me now, I can't handle it.